Okay, so this is going to be the cycle route from Brittany through to Blatch, uh, going past West Hove. And I'll give some little pointers on how to cycle safely on the way. Uh, we're going down the road, which is quite thin. There's parked cars on both sides, so we stay over to the left, keep an eye out for cars pulling out of the drives. And if there's any traffic coming head on, we always keep an eye just to make sure that uh, they've seen us and that we stay over to the left. And oh, I think that's Jim and Hazel. Yeah, there you go. And here we come up to the first junction. And again, we get to the middle of the road as we get to the junction. And we look to where the first danger might be, which is to the right. Look to the right, wait for that to come clear. Then we wait for the traffic park on the left to be clear. There we go. And then we're feeding again. Come over to the left, stay left, and just stay level with the parked cars. Keeping an eye out at the junctions just to see cars have seen us again so they don't pull out in front of us. If they do, slow down a little bit just to you can see when they've seen you. Uh, stay level um, with the parked cars, don't dip in and out. Then the cars behind you can see you and you don't just suddenly pop out from behind parked cars. So just keep this last line level with the parked cars. Okay, coming up to the where we're going to turn left. Just uh, keep an eye on pedestrians and traffic. As we turn left, we want to make sure that we're indicate we're signalling so people can see that we're going to come. This lady can see and she moves out of our way. Stay left. Now we're getting ready to turn right, so we're looking behind us just to check that there's no traffic. Uh, coming, coming up behind us, we can check, we can see it's clear, we've got something coming ahead on, so we slow down, get a good road position, and off, across we go. We check behind us, we had no cars coming up, and then we are safe to pull again over to the left. Again, coming up a junction where we're going to turn left. Signal so that cars, if you're waiting, can tell and then slow down around the corner. Keep an eye because, again, it's quite quite slim. This road, it's only really room for one car coming down it. So, make sure you are safe left. Now, we're going to get ready to turn right at the end of this road, and this is by West Hove Juniors. You can either in the morning go. Uh, you can get off your bike and go across the zebra crossing or you can do it like I'm going to do which is come up to the junction again looking you look right for danger then you look left and then have another check right so I'm checking I'm checking looking right there's nothing if it look left um, there's nothing there and then I just feed in to be on the traffic and then again we're going to go turn left so again you'd indicate let people know if you're pulling out and there we go. Before we set off again, you'd look behind you, check there's no cars. If there's no car, then you can again position yourself near the middle of the road. Slow down, we've got oncoming traffic, so we're going to wait, let them go first. We've indicated, we've stuck our arm out. Then you can see, let them go, and then we'll feed in behind them. And stick left again, because this is quite tight, there's only really room for one car. Okay, so we're going to come down now. We're heading towards the uh, junction. I'm going to go left. Uh, just when we get to the junction, we'll slow down, we'll stop, and we'll have a look to the right to see make sure there's no cars coming. There's no cars coming. All right, road straight through. Yeah, you should really stop, just to be sure. And then we keep going up here, staying level with the parked cars, not dipping in and out. There's a junction coming up, just be aware, park cars might pop out, make sure they've seen you, slow down a little bit just in case. All safe, carry on through. Now 
Okay, now this is where we're going to be approaching the little footpath that goes under the railway track. Now the sign says you've got to get off your bike, but I tend not to do that. As long as you're going at a nice slow pace, you're safe and you're aware of pedestrians, they'll generally not complain about the fact that you've not got your bike and pushed. But you never know. Here's some woman who's going to ask me for directions, I feel. Off we go again. So through the tunnel. Now we've got many op different options when we get to the end of this road, but we'll go the one that we did first time round. So watch out for pedestrians. Look to the right, check for cars. Just let them come in and we're going to take the first right. So you look over your shoulder, make sure there's no cars coming up behind you. There's nothing coming behind you, there's nothing in front. Turn right, head over to the left. Stay left. All the way up to the top of the hill. Now, at this point, we're going to cross over the Old Shore Road, which is quite a busy road. There's two ways you can either stop and cross as a pedestrian and push your bike, or you can do, um, you can treat this. We're going to go straight across, but you can treat it like you're doing a bit of a right turn. So you'll, you can either cycle into the middle of the road and then position your bike so you're in between the traffic and then turn right actually into the road. So I'm coming up to the junction so I'll get myself in the middle of the road so I can have a good view on the traffic coming left and right and again I'm going to look to the where the traffic's coming from first which is to the right that's where my main issue is. We'll have a look there. No traffic coming. We'll look to the left. There's nothing coming that way. So if there was traffic coming from the left you could position yourself in the middle of the road, you're safe there, no one's going to get you in the middle of the road, and then when it's clear, turn into the road. That's it. Again, getting ready, you're going to go left, you can signal left, just in case if anyone's behind you, know what you're doing, and round we go. Now, as we come to the end of this road, we're going to turn into Holmes Avenue, which is quite a busy road. There's buses on it. It's um, a bit of a main thoroughfare up from Shoreham Old Road. So you've got to be ready for the traffic being a bit heavier and for the traffic being big buses, big buses. So um, same thing as before. When we get to the junction, we'll go into the middle of the road. You should remember to look over your shoulder just to check there's nothing coming up behind you, signal so that people know can know where you're going and then remember to look right where the danger is coming from potentially, so we look to the right, there's a car, when that car's gone follow it through, look, there's nothing from the left and off we go. You've got to be quite quick when you do these things because if you sit around, you'll suddenly another car will come along, and then you'll be waiting for that car to go. And so you have got to be quite confident. And again, I'm staying quite, quite left. Always good to have a little peek over your shoulder or listen out for cars coming behind you, just so you know where they are. Check they've seen you. Now, we are going to come up to a big crossroads here, and there may be traffic in front. So the thing is to be seen. When you're at a junction, you don't want to sort of sneak into the side of cars so they can't see you because the cars have got little blind spots, and they, if they don't know you're there, they might accidentally turn and bump into you. So always stay in a position where you think people can see you. If you're right behind them, they'll be able to see you, or if you're right in front of them. So here, we're going to get, we're going to go straight ahead, so we're going to get right behind this uh, this truck. We're not going to sneak around the side of him. We're going to wet, let him go, and then we'll be at the head of the traffic. So he goes. We have a look to our right. And that's the first place the car's going to come from. The car goes past. There's nothing to the left. A bit quick there, but uh, confidently zoom over the road and off. 
Again, just keep an eye on traffic. It's coming up behind you, so that's why you want to keep nice and safe left. They'll generally pull around, give you a bit of space, but just to be sure. Stay left, and then we're going to come up towards the side entrance to the Wimble Theatre. And as you come up to stop, again, look over your shoulder, just check to see what traffic is going to be, what's coming up on you, because then you can work out whether you need to pull over on the left or whether you can sweep straight into the drive now, seeing there's no, no cars behind me. Not yet, Ooh. a bit early. Right, here we go, I think there's the entrance, so check behind me. Engine of traffic, engine of traffic. There's a car coming head on, I'm not sure what he's gonna do, so we're just gonna go around the back of him, just in case he does anything rash, and we have arrived. That's about 12 minutes, which is pretty good. Uh, thanks for watching, and look, look out for my other videos on different routes to get to school.